the Moondrop Sparks are the first entry into the true wireless market from the well-known IAM brand Moondrop. Combining striking colors, top-notch components, and their well-known tuning ability, these have the potential to be one of the best sounding true wireless earbuds on the market. In this video, I'll be giving you my full review along with giving you comparisons against two of my top choices for sound quality under 100 bucks, the Libertech Z3 and the Edifier TWS1 Pro. Now, for transparency and full disclosure, I bought the Moondrop Sparks with my own money for this review. This does not color my review in any way. There was no compensation involved for Moondrop, and no one was able to see this video prior to it being published. In other words, all the brands will be seeing this video at the same time that you are. Now, let's not waste any more time. So first up, let's talk about the connection. So these are running Bluetooth 5.2 along with SBC, AAC, and Aptex Adaptive as their connection codecs. When it comes to pairing, they can pair very, very quickly, and they also feature NFC, so if you wanna pair them via NFC, you can do that as well. Now on Android devices with Aptex Adaptive, that gives you the best of both worlds when it comes to low latency and higher bitrate audio. It actually scales itself based on the conditions that you're using them in. Pretty sweet if you ask me. One of the benefits of this is video latency is almost non-existent. So it's something that you're not even gonna notice when you're watching videos on YouTube or Disney Plus or Netflix or whatever it might be, not gonna be an issue with having the voices synced up to the people talking on the screen. Secondly, this also makes gaming excellent with these earbuds. So very low latency here, nothing along the lines of a gaming mode that's like 40 or 60 milliseconds, but this drops it down substantially. When I'm playing Call of Duty, I'm not having any issues with being distracted by the gunshots being delayed when they hit my ears. So overall, the gaming is excellent with the Moondrop Sparks. Now, as far as Bluetooth range, I got right around 11 and a half meters or 37 feet. Now that's gonna vary based on how many obstructions or walls you put in between the earbuds and the device that they're connected to. Now, last but not least, these also feature dual connect. And this is where you can use one earbud individually while the other one is charging in the case. You can switch them out and there's not gonna be any disruptions between the sound quality. So pretty sweet if you ask me. So now let's move over to the battery life. So they were claiming eight hours along with 48 hours on the case. In my own personal testing, I actually managed to get eight hours and 17 minutes at 75% volume. So excellent battery life from the Moondrop Sparks. And as far as charging the case itself, we do feature USB-C. Sadly, no wireless charging is on board here. Now these earbuds are available in three different colors. You've got the pink, you've got the purple, and you've got that black and gold design. I'm a fan of the color purple, so this is the one that I chose for myself on the earbuds themselves and on the case itself, it's sort of a matte color and the case and buds both have sort of a soft touch feel to them. Pretty interesting if you ask me. Design-wise, they're very IEM-like. The shape is just like your standard KZ or Moondrop in-ear monitors, very similar to that style. Ergonomic and pretty comfortable, at least for my larger ears. I would say, if anything, that they're good for medium and larger ears. Small ears, I'm not so sure. This is gonna be a little hit or miss here. Now, when it comes to controls, they are using touch controls, but sadly, they are limited, and there is no volume control on these earbuds. They are limited to a double tap, a triple tap, and long press. This gives you access to play pause, answer and phone calls, skip track forward and back, and to summon the smart assistant. But aside from that, that's pretty much it. So now let's move over to the performance of the earbuds themselves. So first up, let's talk about the volume. So in my testing, these are getting a 9.5 out of 10, or what I categorize as loud AF. So really loud. Comfortable listening for me is coming in anywhere between 55 and 75%. So these got plenty of overhead. If you happen to be watching a movie with low dialogue, you can really turn it up to whatever you need. Or if you're just a volume junkie, or perhaps somebody who has a bit of hearing loss, these will have you covered if you need that additional headroom. Now, when it comes to the sound quality, this is one of the cleanest sound signatures that I've ever heard on a set of true wireless earbuds. Let's break it down. So first up, the bass. It is fast and it is accurate. There's no boominess to it. It's not bloated. It just hits quick and gets out of there. I really enjoy it. But not only that, they're also bringing us excellent sub bass rumble. And that's the kind of bass that you can feel more than you can hear. And it is excellent with the Moondrop Sparks. Now, if you wanna test this for yourself, you can always try a little bit of Nipsey Hustle. You can try my favorite track by E40. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And you can even try something like Money Trees from Kendrick Lamar. The bass lines on these are just absolutely excellent. So definitely give those a try. 
Now, moving over to the mids, these are smooth and vibrant. The vocal clarity is always on point with these. Male, female vocalist, doesn't matter. It always comes to the table. It's a bit brighter than I had expected, but it's still very, very good. Now, everything stays right in its place when it comes to that mid-range. It never gets muddy, even when there are multiple layers of like voices and instruments all playing at the same time, everything finds its spot and you can hear them all clearly. Now, if you want to test this for yourself, check out this track. It's a song by Carlos Santana featuring India RE and Yo-Yo Ma. The, the guitar by Santana, India RE's beautiful, smooth voice, along with Yo-Yo Ma on the cello. I mean, you really have to hear the song to experience what I'm talking about. And there's even drums in there so that you can hear some of that bass as it comes through. But voices, guitars, the cello, everything coming together, but they all have their own space. And you can really enjoy all of that coming together and that excellent tuning here. So now onto the treble. This treble is clear with decent extension. It has unexpected width to the soundstage and a airiness to it that I really wasn't expecting. Some pretty decent detail in this sound as well. There's excellent instrument separation here, so you can really pick out all the different instruments in whatever song you happen to be listening to. But the one that I was using was Duende by Bozio, Levin, and Stevens. Please do yourself a favor and check out that song. It is absolutely awesome for testing out the the instrument separation for testing out the way that strings kind of come through in here so yeah definitely check that one out the sparks tuning truly shines with these tracks now if i have to give them any negatives here it's going to be the lack of volume control you know the limited controls also the fact that they have no ip rating so i have no idea what the water resistance is on these so i definitely would avoid splashing water on them or taking a shower or doing anything of that nature thirdly it's going to be the fact that they are touting app support but you can't find it on the google play store i was able to find it on shenzhen audio's website and i was able to download it from there but that was kind of pointless i mean it gave me an app where i could update the firmware which gave me some adjustability in the controls but still i still couldn't get single tap control and i still couldn't get volume control out of them so what was the point right so that app definitely needs to be worked on there should be more customizability in the controls please add some sort of eq or eq presets some ability to mess with it if we want to not i wouldn't but just give people the ability to do so. So now let's move over to the comparison portion. So now we're gonna be putting them up against the Libertech Z3 and the Edifier TWS1 Pro. So first up against the Libertech Z3. So the Z3s have less sub bass extension. It's a bit tighter, a bit more accurate, but just not as much lower end, so to speak. The mid range on the Z3 is very similar to the Sparks, but the Sparks have a bit more brightness to it and a, maybe like a hair more vocal clarity there. And then on the treble, the Z3 is definitely brighter. They have a bit more sparkle and a noticeably wider soundstage. Now versus the TWS-1 Pro, the TWS-1 Pro has slightly less sub bass as well. The mids are pretty similar to the Sparks, but the Sparks definitely sound much more natural and true to the original recordings, at least in my personal opinion. Now, both of these have a similar soundstage, but the TWS-1 Pro simply can't match the Sparks for the crispness and the airiness in that treble. So now let's rank them for sound quality overall. Number one, that's going to go to the Libertech Z3. Number two, you've got the Moondrop Sparks. Number three, You've got the Edifier TWS-1 Pro. All of these are excellent. All of them are super well balanced, but overall the Libertechs have the superior sound and an overall much more complete package as a set of true wireless earbuds. Not to mention that they have a fully fledged app with LDX mode with a full graphical EQ. So definitely the better buy overall. So now let's get into some call quality comparisons. This way you can hear the three of these back to back to see which one has better call quality for you. All right, so here we have the call quality test for the Moondrop Sparks. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Obviously indoors in a semi-quiet environment. So this is what you can expect from the Moondrop Sparks in a quiet environment. All right, so here we have the call quality test for the Libertech PurePlay Z3. So testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what you can expect to get out of the Libertech Z3s in a semi-quiet indoor environment. 
All right, so here we have the call quality test for the Edifier TWS-1 Pro. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Obviously indoors once again, semi-quiet environment. So this is what you can expect out of the TWS-1 Pro. Now here we have the Moondrop Sparks in a simulated crowd noise environment. So testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what you can expect from the Moondrop Sparks if you're in a crowded cafe, maybe a train station, something along those lines. So testing, testing, one, two, three. And here we have the LiperTech V3 in a simulated crowd noise environment. So testing, testing, one, two, three. So similar to a cafe, maybe a crowded bus stop or a train station, something like that. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, now here we have the TWS-1 Pro in a simulated crowd noise environment. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Similar to a crowded train station or maybe a busy bar or a cafe. Testing, testing, one, two, three. As always, you're gonna have to be the judge of the call quality down in the comment section. So with all of that out of the way, if you're interested in checking out some of my top five wireless earbuds under 50 bucks, check out the video I'm gonna leave right up here and my top five wireless earbuds for balance sound right up here. With all that said, I'm out of here. Peace.